So let me show you how to make a podcast using Jing. Suppose you've got something that you'd like to make a video of, uh, something on Maple or a Jing presentation. What you first do is you move your little cursor over to the Jing Sung and select the crosshairs. You'll pick a window. You can either pick an entire region, uh, an entire window, select what you want to do, and then press the film strip button. You're going to get a three second countdown, and then you're filming. And essentially all Jing is doing is whatever's inside the rectangle, Jing is recording. Anything you're saying that the mic can pick up, Jing is recording. So it's just a great chance to show off something, say rotating a curb in Maple, or talking about something right here. Um, the little button right here is the microphone button, and one of the things you can do is press it to mute it in case you don't want to get any background noise, or you just want to make a quiet dry run first. You can also push the pause button, and that's useful if you need to go through and uh, grab other features, or you just want to collect your thoughts. When you are done pausing it, you can press the resume button, the little circle, and Jing will start recording again. The little film strip will keep going. Um, so then maybe you move things around, whatever else you want to go and do. When you're finished doing all of that fun stuff, you go and hit the little stop button. And then Jing is going to give you a little bit of playback right here. So you can go to the middle, click the start, and you're going to get a replay of what it is that you've just done here. And you'll hear your voice through the speaker. You'll get a chance to see exactly what was captured right there. Um, you can pause it or play back whatever you want to do. You'll usually get some horrible list of letters as the name of the file, so a lot of times it may be helpful to change it to something more useful. Um, and then what are you going to do with it? Well, there's really two options for us. The first option is you can go and uh, send it to screencast.com, which is a file sharing service right here. The other thing that you can do, which I'd prefer you try doing, is you can save it as a Shockwave file. Save it someplace, say, in on your desktop in an important folder, because then you can upload it directly uh, to D2L. And so hopefully that'll get you going. Some of the other buttons that you may see, well, we're not going to have too much truck with those for right now.